Hi and welcome, my name is Nidia. In this video, I'm going to be attempting to sew a romantic tutu. I am following the guidance of a professional who has two two hour long videos here on YouTube where he guides you through every step of how to sew a romantic tutu with all the reasoning behind and everything. However, I'm going to be attempting it today without any of the professional equipment that he has. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I did some calculations before I brought my fabric. A romantic tutu has between three and five layers of tulle. I'm just going to do four layers. Following the video by the professional, then the top layer will be five panels of 150 centimeters wide fabric. The second and third layer will be four panels and the fourth layer will be three panels of fabric. So I needed to calculate all that together and that way I knew how much fabric I needed. In order to decide how long each layer should be, I started out by measuring how long I wanted the top layer to be. I measured for my waist and decided on 75 centimeters. When I sew the two layers onto the waistband, I'm going to have a distance of 2 centimeters between each layer. So for the skirt to look even at the bottom at the end, the second layer is going to be 73 centimeters long, the third layer 71 and the bottom layer 69 centimeters long. I chose to do 2 cm between each layer because I wanted the waistband to be less wide. In the video by the professional, he had an inch, which is about 2.5 cm, so you can decide for yourself how much space you want between the layers. To make sure that I cut the layers the length I decided on, I placed a piece of painter's tape at the end of my table. I measured 75 cm from the edge of the tape and placed even more tape. On these tape pieces I drew lines that mark 73, 71 and 96 centimeters. I used these lines as reference to cut by. I'm starting out by placing one end of my tool fabric along the tape edge. I'm using books as fabric ways, that way I can make sure the fabric doesn't move too much. I'm going to cut the tool along the edge at the very end of my table. I only do this because I do not think the fabric was cut completely evenly at the fabric store, so I just do this to start out with a clean edge. I'm going to cut along the tape edge and this will be the first panel of the top layer. I ripped four pieces of paper and written which layer the fabric belonged to and pinned it to the tool panel. I'm just going to continue to cut the rest of the panels. All the tool patterns have been cut and I'm going to lay them aside for now while I make the pattern for the waistband. To make the waistband, I'm going to do the same as a professional did, except I'm not going to lower it in the back. To make the pattern, I need my waist measurement and my high hip measurement. I'm going to draw a rectangle with the width of my high hip plus 2 centimeters, which will be seam allowance for the side seam. I made a mistake at this point, I was meant to move the side seam 1 centimeter to the back. Thankfully I caught the mistake before it was too late. I meant to mark the side seams 1 centimeter back from the half point and mark 1 centimeter seam allowance on both sides of that line. I'm just going to mark which line is going to be cut to hopefully not get confused later. As I'm going to have 2 cm between each layer, this will simply follow the lines on my pattern paper. From where the bottom layer is going to be attached and to where the top layer is going to be attached, there's a distance of 6 cm. Because I have 4 layers. Now at this point, the waist will be too big, so we need to draw some dots. 3 in the back and 2 in front. To find the placements of the dots, I'm dividing the front pieces into 3 pieces and the back pieces into 4 pieces. In my case, the measurements I'm working with are for the high hip 85 cm and for the waist 70 cm. This means that I have to remove 15 cm using darts. I will have 3 on either side in the back and 2 on either side in front, so that means 10 in total, leaving me with darts of 1.5 cm width. I'm just going to draw the darts now using those measurements. I'm on purpose working with a larger waist measurement because I want it to be comfortable. At the end I'm going to sew an elastic band along the top edge and that will gather the waist such that it matches my actual waist measurement. My actual waist measurement is about 63 centimeters. Now 
that I finished drawing the dots, I'm just going to draw the seam allowance along the top, bottom and at the middle back. In the back I'm doing 2.5 cm of seam allowance, at the top and bottom I'm only doing 2 cm seam allowance. I'm going to cut along the line of one side of each dart and I will also cut into the bottom seam allowance along the bottom of the pattern otherwise I won't be able to gather the fiber in a minute. Here's the finished pattern pieces, now I can cut the fabric. I'm using some leftover fabric from the Wasane Met Gala lookalike dress I made. It's a satin cotton fabric. It has a little bit of stretch but it is a bit stiff as well so I think it will be sturdy enough. I do not have the special paper that can transfer the lines where I'll later attach tool to so I'm just going to measure, mark and afterwards draw the lines. I'm drawing the lines on the wrong side of the fabric as the right side of the fabric will be going towards my body. That way the seam allowances will be hidden by the tool. I'm going to start by sewing a six pack seam along the fabric edge just to be absolutely sure that the fabric won't fray. Next up I'm sewing the side seams. Now I'm going to fold the bottom and top edges over and sort of hem the bell. This was not a step in the videos I watched, learning how to make a romantic tool skirt, so I would like to have a clean edge at the top and at the bottom. I've just pressed a 1cm fold. The hemming of the top and bottom of the belt is the final seam for now on the belt. Now onto the tool. I'm starting out by sewing the panels together for each layer leaving the back open. And I'm sewing a basting stitch at the top using my sewing machine. Normally for any other project where I'm gathering fabric, I use a contrasting color so that I can easily remove it afterwards. However, for this I'm sewing in the same color as the final seam, as I won't bother removing the basting stitches afterwards. I really think it would be a waste of time as the seams won't show at the end anyway. I would also normally do two basting stitches parallel to each other but I really don't think that is necessary for this project. Now I've just finished pinning the bottom layer onto the belt. I just pulled on the basting stitches as though I was gathering fabric for any other project and pinned it along the edge I'd drawn earlier. Thankfully it doesn't look crazy yet, now all I have to do is repeat three more times. Second layer pinned and ready to sew. Third layer pinned. It's beginning to look a bit crazy and it's getting harder to sew on the machine, but it's not nearly as difficult to maneuver as I'd feared. Fourth layer, so much fabric, but almost done. I bought these ribbons with hook and eyes rather than sewing them on manually. In the end I'm going to finish the skirt by attaching an elastic band along the top edge. That way I'll hide the tool edge and also gather the waist elastic so that it matches my actual waist measurement. 
So now I'm just trying to figure out where I should place the hook and eye ribbon such that it won't clash with the elastic band. I'll attach the hook and eye ribbon by sewing straight seams along the edges of the ribbon on my sewing machine. This is quite simple on the eye side, but it was a bit more challenging on the hook side, but it can be done. Now I placed the elastic band and only pinned it in a few places. Because it is shorter than the waistband at this point, I'm going to pull on the elastic as I'm sewing the seam on my sewing machine. Because of all the tool, it is a bit difficult to keep the elastic right at the edge of the waistband, but I'm doing my very best. As one of the very last things, I'm going to sew each two layers together in the back one layer at a time. I almost made a mistake pinning the bottom layers together. It's not easy with this amount of tools to keep the layers apart, so I accidentally began pinning the third and fourth layer together rather than the two fourth layers pieces. For the side with the hooks, I am folding that piece towards the back and by hand attaching it. If you're very squeamish, skip in a few seconds, I accidentally poked myself with the needle and wasn't aware how deep it had gone, so I got some blood on the ribbon. Thankfully it's on the back side and won't be seen. I hope I'll be able to remove it later. I just tried the skirt on and as you can see here it gapes a bit in the back. I think it might be because the hooks are placed too low so I'm going to add a snap button at the back. I've also realized that the elastic band has not gathered the way I expected it to. It's too weak of an elastic so I'll have to sew a stronger elastic on the inside. I'm just going to do that by hand because I don't want another seam in front. Here's the finished result. I am very happy with the result. I only dance as a hobby and as a fun way to keep in shape, so please don't comment if you dislike my dancing. I'm just having fun. The process of sewing the skirt almost caused blood, sweat and tears. Almost tears when I thought I was done and had to sew in another elastic. Blood when I poked myself on a pen. And a bit of sweat with all of the layers of tool. I do not think the process itself of sewing a romantic tutu is very overwhelming. It requires patience, but I made this in only one day, so if you're considering making one yourself, I think you should give it a try. I hope you liked this video, and if you want to see more from my channel, remember to subscribe. Have a lovely week!